is the most famous marine ecosystem in the world. Everybody knows the Great Barrier Reef. It's beautiful, it's a, a heritage site and has a lot of endemic species. Sharks are a fundamental part of the coral reef ecosystems. They've been around before the dinosaurs. And they have not changed much in terms of their biology since then. I've always found sharks incredibly fascinating. My name is Martina. I am um, a student, a research student at James Cook University and the Australian Institute of Marine Science. And I study sharks. When most people hear the word shark, they picture the sleek, torpedo-shaped body with that classic dorsal fin that we've all seen in the movies. But the reality is that sharks come in all shapes and sizes. In coral reef ecosystems, sharks have evolved all kinds of different lifestyles. Some you might not even recognize as sharks. Of course, you have the classic shark-shaped sharks like the grey reef sharks and black tip reef sharks that spend most of their time cruising mid-water off the reef. But you also have species that have evolved to get in amongst the coral structure like white tip reef sharks. Or the tiny little epaulet sharks. Then you have the really unrecognizable cryptic sharks like the wobbegongs that are super well camouflaged ambush predators. In the past there has been two main techniques to survey sharks. One of them is divers and the other one, more recent, is bruvs, baited remote underwater video systems. Bruvs have a camera on them and a bait. And what they do is they actually attract the sharks to the camera. The problem with this is the smell of the bait gets transported far away by currents and water movements that we really can't predict right so far. And so we end up seeing on camera sharks that are not necessarily the usual visitors of that area of the reef, which can be good for certain questions, not so good for others. My research focuses on what technologies can be improved or developed from ground zero to help shark researchers. That is where the ROV comes in. ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. The first thing we do is set up the site. We do this by laying out a 100 meter measuring tape on the reef. Once the site is set up, it's time to send the ROV in. When I pilot the ROV, I use the measuring tape to guide me. Meanwhile, the four GoPros mounted on top record a 360 degree view of the reef. So we'll see any shark that swing by on the videos. The way we are surveying the reef with the ROV will allow us to capture more authentic and undisturbed abundance and behavior of sharks on the GBR. And then after all of these We'll pull the ROV back out and we'll send the divers along the same transect to see what abundance and behavior they record.
the divers carry a device called DOV, Diver Operated Video. It records what they see, so we can look back at any time and confirm what they saw. It's important to compare the ROV with other counting techniques that we've been using so far. Most sharks that inhabit the coral reef are the smaller sharks. Benthic species in particular, like epaulet sharks and bamboo sharks, most of them come out of the reef structure at night. As researchers, we are not really allowed to go underwater at night because it can be dangerous for certain reasons. And so we have very limited data that tells us what's actually happening at night. So this is Red Dog. Designed and built by the Australian Institute of Marine Science. And we're standing in the water tonight. I'll be piloting it over the same transit we visited during the day and hopefully we see a whole lot more sharks. I can feel the swell, it picks me up, it smashes me a bit around. That's okay, you can take it. ROVs like Red Dog allow us to see the reef underwater at night time in a whole new way. It is super exciting to use new technology to expand our capacity for research like this. Once we have run all our transects, we have to get all the data off the ROV and analyze it. We watch the videos and we count the sharks that we see and the species that we see. It's quite time consuming. Sometimes it can be hard, especially at night time, to just see a shark zooming by and identifying the species. With the videos from the ROV, not only the sharks get closer, but we can also pause the video to help us um, look for a key feature to help us identify the species. Uh, the PM dive. Yeah. I think this is a great reef because it's got the, the kind of bronze color on the top. There's like not a typical black tip or white tip color, that's probably like a gray reef color. Gray reef. Although it's very early days, the results so far have been quite promising. This has proven to be an efficient technique, just as much as divers, to survey sharks. Now it comes down to understanding where the strengths of this technique are, when it's best to be used. No method to survey shark is perfect. And it's all about using the right method for the right question and trying to understand where is the strength of one specific method. I feel very, very grateful and lucky to be part of such an important collaboration such an early stage of my own research as well. I never thought this was ever going to be possible. I wake up every morning and I remember that I'm a shark scientist and I just that just makes my day.